الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لئن شكرتم لأزيدنكم ولئن كفرتم إن عذابي لشديد قال الله تبارك وتعالى في مقام الآخر وأما بنعمة ربك فحدث صلاة الله العظيم وصدق رسوله النبي الكريم ونحن ولا ذلك من الشاهدين والشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين إن الله وملائكته يسلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا ومولانا محمد وبارك وسلم وصل عليه رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي ما دي أمر موجس my brothers, my sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, after praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and sending blessings and salams upon his beloved messenger sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving us the opportunity to be present in Brother Shokat's house in this blessed gathering in which we are in where we are remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his beloved messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and also expressing our love, expressing our feelings about the being of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam has taught us and has told us that wherever Allah is mentioned Wherever Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is mentioned, wherever the deen is mentioned, Allah's blessings, His mercy and His angels descend. So Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made these brothers who have traveled very far to express their feelings through a particular type of talent to tell us and give us a message about the deen and about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the hosts who have organized this event have given us the opportunity to benefit from the rewards and blessings and mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us in full that reward that he has promised and grants us those blessings and mercy that he has promised. I don't want to take too much of your time but I was requested uh, by Brother Shokat to say a few words um, in this blessed gathering. I know we all want to listen to the guests that have uh, already arrived, so I don't want to take too much of your time. But briefly, we I just like to remind myself and everyone else that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed us with many things. Allah has given us many in Ahmad, many favors. Some of those things we cannot live without in this dunya, like food, water, <coughs> air the ability to speak, our hands, feet, sight, all of these things that we cannot live without, families, these are some of the necessities and needs of our life. And there are certain things Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed us with, certain abilities that allow us to adapt in the environment that we live in. And then there are certain abilities and talents which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given different people, different types of abilities, different types of talents as blessings. So what do we do in return? What do we do with these blessings in return? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He asks us to be appreciative and be thankful and grateful to Allah for Him granting us these abilities and these talents. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَذْكُرُوا عَلَىٰ اللَّهِ لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ and remember the blessings of Allah so that you are successful. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَأَمَّا بِالنِّعْمَةِ رَبِّكَ فَحَدِّثِ And speak about the blessing that Allah has given you. Express your feelings upon those ni'mas, upon those favors that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed you with. So one of the ways of showing gratitude to Allah is expressing, either by word or through action, the gratitude and thanks and being appreciative of those favors that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed us with. Imam Jalaluddin al Sayyuti, rahimahullah ta'ala, one of the greatest Imams of this Ummah, 
he wrote in one of his theses in a book called Majmu'a Risail al-Suyuti which is a collection of all the theses of Imam Sayyuti. And the first chapter that he has put in, the, in those theses, or the first theses that he has put in there, is titled, The Hadithun Ni'ma, mentioning about the favors of Allah, expressing your feelings upon the favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he has collected many a hadith in which he has stated that if you express in words you speak about your ni'mah, you tell other people about the blessings that you have, you express that talent that you have, this is actually thanking and appreciating Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the blessing that He has given you. And whoever doesn't, then he has done kufr. Here it doesn't mean kufr as in disbelief, here it means kufr as in rejection of that ni'mah. The one who is not appreciative of Allah's blessing, he is doing kufr. Not in terms of disbelief, but in terms of rejecting the favor that Allah has given. And he's being unappreciative and ungrateful. In this dunya, when someone gives us a gift, if we don't thank that person, then we are being ungrateful to that person. How does that person feel if we are not appreciative? And the Prophet ﷺ said, the one who does not thank people does not thank Allah. And Allah is more worthy of being thanked for his na'mas that he has given us because we cannot live without the blessings that he has granted us. And... One of the ways of appreciating the gifts of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is like I said, expressing happiness and joy upon that and also utilizing, utilizing that ability that Allah has given you. Utilizing that talent that Allah has given you. As the Prophet alayhi salatu was salam said in a hadith that Allah loves to see the effects of his blessings upon his servants. For example, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given someone wealth, and if a person doesn't utilize that wealth after giving charity, after fulfilling his zakat, does not spend on his children, does not spend upon himself. If someone has been blessed with wealth and does not spend it, and there are no signs of the effects of that ni'mah upon that person, Allah is displeased with that person. Because Allah wants to see the effects of his blessing upon that person. Or for example, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given someone knowledge. Knowledge is a blessing. Now if someone doesn't utilize that knowledge, doesn't benefit people with that knowledge, then that person is being unappreciative of the gift that Allah has given him. So the Prophet alayhi salatu was salam said that the one who has knowledge and confines it to himself and hasn't allowed other people to benefit from it, Allah will punish that person. And also utilizing your ni'mah in a good way. So for example, we have brothers here who have expressed their talent. They have utilized an ability that Allah has given them through the means of poetry, articulation, communication, giving a message through a particular way. Poetry is a particular way of giving your message forward. So people have expressed or have, um, through their poetry, given a good message about the deen. They have utilized the ni'mah that Allah has given them. And this is a way of shukr. So utilizing the blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, utilizing that talent is shukr in itself. Then utilizing it in a good way. Some people may have certain talents but they don't use it in a good way. Some people may be given the talent of articulation. Some people may be good poets. But they may not be using that ability to guide people. They may be using it to misguide people. Or we have certain poets, rappers who incite people to become gangsters or they might incite certain passions in people's hearts or there is luridness in their in their poetry they are making people go towards indecency obscenity incite sexual passions within them but then there are certain people who are utilizing that same talent to guide people they are using that same talent to tell people about the deen to give positive positive messages through their poetry and the Prophet ﷺ said that the one who guides one person, one person, it is better for that person to have red, it is better for that person to guide someone than to have red camels. And red camels were very valuable in the time of Rasulullah. So through poetry, through that talent, people are guiding people. And this is a hadus of ni'mah. This is an expression, this is a way of thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by expressing and utilizing that talent 
If Allah has given that person a good ability to express themselves and guide people, then they are utilizing that ni'mah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a positive way. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, whoever helps Allah, Allah will help them. So if they are using their ability and their talent to help in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then Allah will definitely help them. وَلَيْنْ شَكَرْتُمْ لَعَزِيدَنَّكُمْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Ibrahim that whoever thanks Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his blessings, Allah will increase them in their blessing. So if people are using their ilm to guide people, Allah will bless them in their knowledge. If people are using their talent of poetry and trying to guide people and helping in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will increase them in their knowledge and increase them in their talent. وَلَيْنْ كَفَرْتُمْ but if they reject in adabi la shadid, the punishment of Allah is severe. And one of the ways Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala punishes someone who does not utilize that ni'mah in the right way, Allah snatches that off them, deprives you of that blessing. So if a person doesn't utilize that ni'mah that Allah has given, Allah will take it away from that person. So I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us tawfi to first of all thank Allah for the blessings that He has given us. Secondly, whatever ability, talent he has given us, let's utilize it in a good way and then I pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives us and uh, the brothers that have traveled very far to give us a good message through uh, their poetry and through their talent, may Allah bless them, may Allah uh, increase them in their knowledge, in their articulation, may Allah bless them in the work that they do and through them uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide others.